Hey guys, and welcome to You Can Uke. And today I want to teach you how to play the song Stand By Me by Benny King. So grab your ukulele, make sure it's in the standard tuning of G, C, E, A. And let's get cracking. So the original recording of this song was in A major, but to keep this lesson pretty simple, uh, I decided to go ahead and teach you in the key of G major. Now, if you still want to play this song with the original recording, what you could do is you could grab a uh, ukulele capo, put it on this second fret, and then apply the chords that I'm about to teach you. Now, the chords that we need to know today to play Stand By Me are G, E minor, C, and D. If you already know these chords, then that's awesome. Feel free to skip ahead to the later portion of this video. And if you don't know these chords, then it's no worries because I'm about to show you right now. The first chord that we're going to learn to play is G. And to do that, you're going to take your first finger, put it on the second fret of the third string, take your second finger, put that on the second fret of the first string, and take your third finger and put that on the third fret of the second string. G sounds like this. The next chord is E minor, and to play that, you're going to take your first finger, put it on the second fret of the first string, take your second finger, put that on the third fret of your second string, and take your third finger and put that on the fourth fret of your third string. E minor sounds like this. The next chord is C. To play that, you're going to take your third finger and put that on the third fret of the first string. This is C. The very last chord we're going to learn is D, and to play that, you're going to take your second finger, put that on the second fret of the fourth string, take your third finger, put that on the second fret of the third string, and take your fourth finger and put that on the second fret of the second string. D sounds like this. Now that we know those chords, I want to teach you the chord progression, and the chord progression is G for 8 beats, E minor for 8 beats, C for 4 beats, D for 4 beats, and G for 8 beats. Let's try it, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And what's great about that chord progression is that it continues and is repeated through the entire song. So if you can play that chord progression, then you know the whole song. Now I want to teach you the rhythmic strumming pattern. It's pretty simple and it goes like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's try and take the rhythmic strumming pattern and apply it to the chords. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, up. I think that we have a handle on this song, so now let's try to actually play through Stand By Me. Just as long as you stand, stand. 
stand by me. So darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. And that ending is just a G chord on five beats. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I only played through the first verse and the first chorus just because the song itself is pretty repetitive. However, if you want to play through the whole song of Stand By Me, then go to my description box below and click on a link that will give you access to the whole chord chart for Stand By Me. There you have it. That's how you play Stand By Me by Ben E. King. Until next time, thanks for joining, and remember, you can uke.